know there have been incidents down the years when something or someone looks like they're going to harm one of our children. And I have seen my wife, Nicola, who is one of the quietest and gentlest people I have ever met, suddenly rise up like a lion and step in between her child and the threat. <laughs> While I'm hesitating, she steps up and says in effect, you're gonna to have to go through me to get to them. No wonder Jesus on his way to the cross described himself like a mother hen who just wants to gather her chicks under her wings. Christ on the cross is God declaring to sin and death, you're gonna to have to go through me to get to them. I'll say that again. Christ on the cross is God declaring to sin and death, you're gonna to have to go through me to get to them. And here's the good news, they could not get through him. When darkness met light, light won. When union met separation, union won. When sin and death met Christ on that cross, the communion of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the union of the Trinity was stronger than the separation of sin and death. And the resurrection was the appearing of that victory, that truth, this new life that men and women could now live in and live from. Life in communion with the Father and the Spirit. Life in the Son. What the New Testament calls life in Christ. Now, the ability to live in this life, what the Apostle Paul called hidden with Christ in God, is freely given. It was no accident that crucifixion was the manner of Christ's death, for it is only death like that where a man dies with his arms outstretched.